Welcome to Unlock Layouts. In today's video, we are going to discuss the topic of channel length modulation. Let's start the video. So now we are going to discuss channel length modulation. So what is channel length modulation in the sense? The sudden change in the channel length or else the channel length is changing keep on due to some variations or keep on due to some other problems. So all we know so where there is a effective channel so here there is a effective channel so all everyone we know so this is our effective channel length so this is our effective channel length so what will happen if the channel length is changed so channel length in the sense so it's not a kind of fabrication related issues because we are not shrinking the channel length in the size wise the conduction of the channel width will be changed so how the channel conduction will be changed here so based on which criteria the channel length conduction will change here so now we will going to see the this topic so let's assume one scenario so now this is a n mass so everybody will know so just i am drawing here on n mass so consider this is a drain terminal so this is a source terminal and this is a gate terminal so source of the n mass always should be connected to the ground signal drain of the n mass it will derive some input and input signal it will derive some input signal and gate always should be a logic one to operate the n mass logic one in the sense so we can call it as a 5 volt so this is a logic one state so now what will happen if the gate voltage is applied 5 volt the drain voltage is applied some volt so let us consider now the drain voltage is zero so there is no drain voltage what will happen if the source voltage is switched from 0 volt to some other volt because the source is always should be connected to ground so ground always we should maintain 0 there we, we, we don't want any kind of fluctuation in ground signal so what will happen if the ground signal is bounced so ground voltage is increased now we will come to the first diagram A so this is a gate terminal so all we know this is a poly of the gate and this is a gate oxide and this is a drain terminal and source terminal so now what i am going to do i am going to give the gate voltage of 0 0.7 volt so this is a threshold voltage consider 0 0.7 is a threshold voltage now i have a drain voltage of 0 so as of now drain is 0 so now first situation source voltage is connected to zero voltage so first situation s is equal to zero so source is also zero drain is also zero so now i have given some sufficient vt so sufficient vt i have applied here so what will happen since it is a p substrate here there will be a lot of holes will be there so in this entire area will be a lot of holes holes will be there so now here in p substrate area lot of holes will be there so whenever there is a gate voltage the holes will ripple from this place so whenever there is a positive voltage in the gate so the holes will ripple from this point so holes ripple in the sense the holes will get rippled so here after rippling the holes here it will leave the negative ions so here there will be a negative ions formation so consider this is a negative ion formation here so whenever the holes is rippled from this place so there will be a negative ions the hole will leave the negative ions and it will ripple from this way so keep on increasing the gate voltage suppose now again the situation i increased from the 0 0.7 voltage to 1 volt so keep on increasing the gate voltage here there will be a huge number of negative ions because now i am increasing the gate voltage so because of this the channel width is getting stronger than stronger so if it is the channel length is getting very stronger directly there will be a conduction between source and drain if there is any voltage is applied but now here there is no voltage source voltage is also zero and drain voltage is also zero the both voltage is zero so keep on increasing the gate voltage for the n mass the channel width will be getting very stronger enough to make the conductivity channel very high so this is the first case so now i have applied 0 0.7 or 1 volt so the channel is very high consider now i have applied 1 volt so now the drain voltage is zero source voltage is zero suppose due to some problem the drain voltage is increased by 0 0.3 volt 
so due to some leakage current due to some ground bounds or due to any problem due to some noise signal so due to some unfortunate situation so the source voltage is increased by positive 0.3 volt so this is a positive 0.3 volt so in this case what will happen so now here there is a gate voltage of 0.3 still we have to calculate few voltage difference between the two points so so this is a gate terminal we know so the difference between gate and drain signal is still 1 volt because the potential difference between this point to this point still we have a 1 volt but before we have a uh, before condition which means when there is a source voltage is 0 that time here also from gate to source voltage also we have a potential difference of 1 volt now the source voltage is increased by 0 0.3 volt so what will happen since the gate voltage is 1 volt and source voltage is 0 0.3 volt so the overall potential difference between the potential difference between now VGS so gate and source now it is 1.0 voltage minus 0 0.3 volt so now we have a 0 0.7 volt here the potential difference between VGS is equal to 0 0.7 so this is a first case ok so now directly for to understanding I am coming to the diagram B so the, this is a diagram B now source voltage is 0 0.3 volt gate voltage is 1.0 volt since the drain voltage is 0 so what will happen just I will divide the channel by 2 so this is the area for voltage of the gate to source and this is the area for voltage for gate to drain so now the source voltage is increased so the potential difference between VGS is 0 0.7 volt here there is a potential difference between VGD is equal to 1 volt so because the drain voltage is 0 so what will happen so here there will be enough number of holes because the potential difference is very high here since the potential difference is very high the all the holes will be rippled from here because the voltage is very high so the holes present here it will rippled from here there will be a remaining of negative ions will be there but here 0 0.7 volt so compared to the VGD here we have a lesser number of negative ions so here we have a, some negative number of ions so what will happen so based on our first diagram our channel width is very strong so consider this our channel width the channel width is very strong from here to here but now the channel width, width is reduced see the channel length is reduced channel length and channel width is also reduced so consider from here to here is a length from he here to here is a width so the length channel length is also shrinking and the channel width is also shrinking so what will happen if the channel length and channel width will decreased or shrinked if it is in the case there won't be a proper conduction between the source to drain or drain to source so vice versa so there won't be a proper conduction so again what it's happened again from the 0 0.3 volt to so again the source voltage is increased 0 0.6 volt so what will happen since again the VGS from here same formula 1.0 minus 0 0.6 suppose if you are consider now we have a 0 0.4 voltage the second scenario now if the source voltage is increased by 0 0.6 so now the source voltage is increased by 0 0.6 so the VGS the difference between VGS is now 0 0.4 volt so what will happen here again there will be a lesser number of holes since the VGS is 0 0.4 volt again here we will not get the proper negative ions again the channel is shrinked so keep on increasing the source voltage so now again we will discuss here so keep on increasing the source voltage suppose the source voltage is increased keep if the source voltage is increased the channel length will get decreased because there is no sufficient negative ions to ripple the positive holes the first thing is to ripple the positive holes here we need the sufficient negative ions so here we don't have the sufficient negative ions because the source voltage is increased from the positive side so 
if the source voltage is increased by the positive voltage so here lesser number of negative ions will be there so this lesser number of negative ions what will happen so what it will do the channel length will be decreased so this is the channel effective channel length we know from here to here there is a effective channel length the channel length will get decreased so now the source voltage is increased still the gate voltage is remain same the gate voltage is remain same so the drain voltage is also remain same so what will happen if you keep on increasing the source voltage the effective channel length so this is the effective channel length for some voltage again if you increase the voltage the channel length will decrease again if you increase the source voltage again the channel length will decrease again if you increase again the channel length will decrease so the length of the channel between source and drain will keep shrink so this is some area so this x area will keep shrink if you increase the source voltage so the scenario is if you increase the source voltage same will the channel length will get decreased so this is called channel length modulation so because of this reason only the source terminal always should be connected to ground so we don't want any kind of fluctuation in source voltage if the source voltage is increased from the zero zero volt to some other voltage for n mass if the zero volt is increased if the zero is raised or some fluctuation is happened at so what will happen the channel length will get decreased so to avoid this problem only so the source terminal and body terminal both should be connected by using tap cells so to prevent this problem so we will add one more tap cell here so the body terminal and source terminal always should be maintain the same potential difference so if there is a different different potential difference between source and body so there will be a channel length modulation so to prevent this problem only the source terminal and the body terminal always should be connected together and we will maintain the bo both source and body terminal we have to maintain the same potential difference so now this is a case one so what will happen suppose if there is a voltage difference between the drain terminal so now again we are discussing the same channel length modulation based on the drain because the source terminal now it is always connected to ground potential so every time the source we have to maintain zero so the source terminal now it is constantly zero so now what will happen if the drain voltage is increased same thing will happen here also so we can take it as a this is a vgd and this is a vgs so now the drain voltage to now the drain voltage to gate voltage is increased so what will happen so this side so we will get the channel length modulation because here there is a sufficient negative ions so here we have a sufficient negative ions because the source voltage is constant with zero volt which means the ground volt now the drain voltage is increased what will happen keep on increasing the drain voltage the length of the vgd so this is the length of the vgd the vgd will get reduced the same situation whatever happened in the source side the same situation will happen to drain side also so shrinking the channel length it's called channel length modulation so it will happen in the certain situations only when there is a drain voltage is increased when there is a source voltage is increased so based on these two scenarios the channel length will get totally changed so this is called channel length modulation i hope i have given some valuable information to you in this video thank you for watching my video if you like this video please click like button and share this video to your friends for more details about this video please contact us to my email id and follow us on my facebook page and twitter page and kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell button